everybody, Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm going to talk about crank length and is longer better, is shorter better, what are the different options, does it really make any difference? You know, I've been uh, racing for a long time, uh, I don't really race much these days, but when I started racing on the track back in 1987, you know, we used very short cranks, 165 millimeter cranks. The cranks measured from the center of the axle to the center where the pedal is screwed in in millimeters. So 165 or 16.5 centimeters is the crank length we used on the track and that's very very short and that's because of the steep banks and it's because you need a lot of high cadence leg speed. You need that shorter crank to develop um, a high cadence. You know then I started racing on the road and I started using 172.5 then 175 then I even used 177.5 at the time I was in France and I was with the, the team that was behind Laurent Fignon, Bernard Hino, and they believed in very long cranks. You know, there were, there were people like Mark Maddio, who's not very tall, winning Perry roubaix on 180 millimeter cranks. Even guys like Laurent Fignon and Greg LeMond used 175 millimeter cranks, and these guys are not very tall. So that was the thinking back then. You know, and then as we go into the, you know, the 90s and 2000s, the crank length started to not go longer, but if anything, became a little shorter again. And I think it's because of the extreme positions in the time trial bike, you know, because we have to get super low and really close that angle in the hip area, it became uh, difficult to use those very, very long cranks, unless you're very, very flexible, you know, in your glutes and your hamstrings, um, you know, is it, is it, it's very tough to spin a very long crank. For example, one of my dear friends is one of the top five Ironman triathletes of all times, you know, he's six foot two. And he's currently using 170 millimeter cranks on his on his Ironman tri bike, so that's a pretty short crank. So here's my thinking um, on this whole debate, and even I don't even know if it is a debate because honestly I don't feel it makes a massive massive difference. I've seen some data showing that um, they tested a wide variety of crank length, and they really didn't find a major significant difference in performance whether you had longer cranks or shorter cranks. But here's my thinking and this is based on my experience. If you live in a flat area like Florida where we live, or if you're doing a lot of crit racing, you know, I would go with a slightly shorter crank, like 170 to 172.5 millimeter cranks, especially if you want to develop nice leg speed, nice high cadence, quick accelerations. Um, if you're more of a grinder, if you like to grind a big gear, um, you know, I would go with 175 millimeter cranks, 177.5 millimeter cranks, this is going to give you a little bit more leverage, so this grinding big gear uphill. Mountain bikers typically use longer cranks. Um, a guy like Christoph, who just won Tour of Flanders, uses 175 millimeter cranks, and he pushes a big gear, as you've seen. So really, it depends on the type of rider you are. And obviously, if you're very tall, you know, a longer crank is probably going to feel like a shorter crank for somebody who's short. So that, there's also that factor as well you've got to take into account. How tall are you, you know, is also going to play a big part in crank length. So for me these days, I'm using 172.5 cranks because I live in Florida because it's flat and I, I like the leg speed aspect. But if I lived in a place like Colorado or California with lots of hills or mountain biking, I'd probably use 175s or even 177.5s. But in the end of the day, I really don't think it's going to make the difference between winning and losing a race. But it is an interesting, fun debate that's been going on for years and years and years. So I hope you guys found that interesting and uh, go out there and have fun on the bike.